Good morning, everyone. My name is Chris. I'm here with Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube, and we have another video for you today. It is Monday morning. We have a busy day today. <laughs> we're going to be picking the boys up from school early a little bit later on today, and we're taking them to the Great Wolf Lodge for the night. But we have a lot of stuff we have to do today. It is Monday. We have our Monday sales to pull and pack and get off to the post office, and I'm there's I have to get two videos edited and all that stuff. So we're going to get started on pulling what's sold for us over the weekend and then we'll do all that other fun stuff right <laughs> yeah i did want to thank jasmine uh, she bought us a copy said i'm so happy i found your channel i am a new part-time reseller and started only a few months ago i'm currently in the process of organizing all my inventory to a system like yours thanks for the great idea thank awesome. you so much jasmine that jasmine. sounds like a fun project yeah <laughs> it's fun not fun yeah. right <laughs> once you get it on it's gonna be yeah awesome. yeah jasmine thank you so much for that support we appreciate it and excited. I'm excited for you getting started in that. I know it's going to be daunting, but once you get it all organized and set up, you'll be good. Yeah, I love when people tag me on Instagram and they're like their inventory rooms and stuff. Yeah. It's so fun. Everyone does it slightly different and it's just yeah. cool to see. Just don't do it like Kevin over at Commonwealth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Definitely do not put all the hats in one bin. I'm just As I have all my hats in one bin over there. Uh, uh. All right, um, this is actually going out to our viewer, Cassandra. She's bought from us several times. This is a Redhead brand shirt that Chris probably doesn't know. I, I was going to say, did you sell my so, shirt? Yeah, <laughs> he wore it like last week and I washed it and then I put it up here. Oh, because I didn't, you have so many of these and this isn't my favorite color on you. I like blue that you're wearing right now. <laughs> so anyways, thank you so much, Cassandra. She bought this for $14 plus shipping. I don't remember what we bought it for, but yeah. I'm pretty sure it was thrifted, though. Yeah, I, I remember it had new tag on when we bought it, though. Cassandra, thank you so much for <laughs> sniping my shirt away from me. <laughs> no, thank you so much. We do appreciate that support. Yeah, let me just kind of get some polys out. That one's going to need a little bit larger than normal. Do not have any? Oh, they're there. These the guys. dog mailers. Okay, so I wrote Jamie question mark because they didn't say anything, but they bought four items, which makes me think they're a viewer. Mm. But so let's just pull the four items. Jamie, if you're a viewer, thank you. Uh, DQ, way back here. I didn't write where the last item is, but A and B are the next two. She's gonna look it up on the spreadsheet. Let's check in on Reese. How you doing this morning, Reese? Oh, that's a good boy. That's a good boy. He's a little nervous because anytime we, I feel like he has this he just knows. sixth sense that he knows that we're yeah. <laughs> we're gonna be dropping him off at a friend's tonight. Yeah, they don't take puppies there. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but you had fun last time you went to a friend's house because they have yeah, other puppies. Yeah, they got there. two big playful dogs. Awesome. All right, so the bundle is a pair of men's Volcom swim trunks, a kid's Hurley sweater, sweatshirt, crew cuts, t-shirt, and a pair of Vans for kids. These three items were my son's, and then the board shorts I bought to sell. I uh, got an offer of 65 I accepted. I had about $40 into all the items, again, because three of them are just our personal items, so I'm still profiting overall. Whereas, obviously, if I sold the board shorts that I thrifted by themselves, I would have made more profit, but then I would have lost money on these, so right. that's how that kind of works out. So I was happy to accept that. And yeah, that's Poshmark, so we're just gonna do probably a regional B-box. And you said that was Jamie? Yeah, it was Jamie. So, so Jamie, if you do happen to be a viewer and you just didn't leave a message or anything, we do appreciate that support. Yeah, I just never know. I don't feel like I make a lot of bundle sales to non-viewers, so. 
Okay, BC. Hey, BC. BC by Reese. I just want to give you a pet. Let me see. <laughs> this is a men's Prana button down. I sold for $19 with discount shipping. I had $3.99 into that. Sold on Posh. We'll do a Tyvek mailer. Ooh, I sold a bra. We only have a few left. I actually think I sold two this weekend. Like, I'm just gonna grab them all out because I don't remember which is the <laughs> other, but the first one is the strap. This one. I'll set these here for now. Yeah, so this one sold for 20 plus shipping on eBay. I sent that offer and they accepted. So I have nothing into these, so zero cost of goods and $20 sale. At this point, that was part of yeah. your third love bra haul, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so she got a ton of, like, gently used bras. Maybe not even used. I don't even know what the I real situation like they was. They definitely didn't look used. They yeah. were probably, my guess was, this company has, like, a money-back guarantee. So, like, mm -hmm. if you don't like it or something, you can return it. And I don't think they can resell it at that point. Gotcha. So. That's what my guess is. Maybe people the tried returns. it one time, returned mm -hmm. it, and then they just donate them. So we found like ended up, 50 of them at the bins. Yeah, and like other people did too. So yeah. if I would have realized what they were, I probably would have had over 100, maybe 200, which would have been amazing. Which yeah. Having, I think I got 60 something was amazing. Yeah. So yeah. I, so the first two or three bras that sold paid yeah, I didn't for, even, actually the first one, I it think. It wasn't just bras I got that day either. So yeah. yeah, by the time I even started listing the bras, I had already made my money back on the haul. So I just put zero. Yeah. But had we said them by weight, it would have been like 30 Four cents. cents yeah. Maybe, yeah. So <laughs> that was a really, really good find. Yeah. And I hope to find something like that again. Something yeah. Just a lot of similar items for really cheap. But yeah, that's kind of one of those just random. Mm -hmm. You were there at the right time kind of things. So, I mean, if you go to the thrift store every single day, you're going to come across that sometimes. Yeah. All right, this is actually a viewer sale going out to Casey. She bought these for her birthday, uh, for herself, for her birthday. Mm -hmm. Little cute, uh, T-U-K, I don't, I never know if that's like the brand name. Her yeah. Tuck. Uh, but they have like little bees on them. I just thought these are so cute. I couldn't leave them. I did pay $4.99 and Casey bought them for $19 with discount shipping on Posh. So awesome. Happy birthday, Casey. I hope you love yeah. the shoes. Casey, thank you so much for that support and happy birthday. Um, we'll do a regional A box on those. The little bra, I just need to find a box in the closet for. A non USPS box, right? Uh, it could be. Well, yeah, because it's not priority mail. So. Mm. Let's see. This I just listed, and I listed it low because so it's a golf polo, but it has a like a branded place on it. Oh yeah, it yeah. Says like Mackay Golf Club or something. Right. So I figured because it wasn't just plain that it wouldn't sell for as much, but it sold in a day. So maybe I could have listed for more. But <laughs> either way, it came from the bins. I had a dollar one cost of goods that day, and sold it for fifteen twenty six plus shipping. This went through my laundry like two or three times because I kept washing it. Then I would put it on our couch. And then something would touch it and then it would get like dirty <laughs> so like i kept washing it <laughs> finally i'm just like i don't even care i'm just listing this well all the stains came out and stuff, yeah but yeah very glad that sold <laughs> something kept touching it was it that thing probably <laughs> <laughs> acting all innocent and cute oh <laughs> not me <laughs> he's like touching his nose but yeah travis matthew in general is a great golf clothing brand to look out for uh, generally, you can get like $25 to $30 a polo shirt. So. Yeah. All right. Let's go to DO. Closet. DO. All the way back here. So, these Clark's wedges. For 25 46 plus shipping on eBay. I had $1.84 into those from the bin, so very good sale. Love selling bins items. To me, anything's a good sale when you gotta have the bins. Right. All right, do a shoe box on those. Box F. This is another bins item. 
man, I need to go to the bins again. <laughs> uh, I mean, like, these aren't selling for a ton, but, right. you know, 15, 25. This one is a Dr. Seuss just scrub top and sold for 11 plus ship. I had $1.51 into it. Right. Not bad. Yeah. So, yeah, let's do floral. For stuff that was literally on its last breath, you know, it was yeah. going to be... Either in the garbage or yeah. I sell it for $11. Right. And Goodwill made some money, too, to support their mission. Everyone wins. Yeah. I think. <laughs> BG. So a pair of Chiva sandals. Uh, $34 plus shipping on Mercari. I have $5.99 into these. UPS, so I will grab a box or no FedEx smart post so I'll grab a box after the video all right box CR these are Converse oh, these are like a leather low top sold for 40 with discount shipping I had 10.99 into those I'll switch it if I need to. Yeah. All right, AP. Some women's leather keen sandals for 47 with discount shipped. I had 625 into those. That was a really good one. Another medium flat read. Thank you, Posh, for making my life super easy. <laughs> All right, BM is down here. All right, this is Cabana like this. I had three. This is the last to sell. The first one sold for a lot, like I want to say like 50 something on eBay. Second one, I got an offer of 30 on Posh and accepted. And then this one, I got an offer of 29 and accepted on Posh. I had $10 into them, so I'm still making profit. Mm -hmm. But obviously, I wanted more. This weekend, we ended up taking our son to the to the emergency room just for like a little bit of a scare, but he was yeah. fine, obviously. Yeah. Um, so while we were just waiting in the waiting area, I was like setting offers because we're like, who knows how much this is going right, to cost. Right. So, Anyways, I was more willing to accept like offers and stuff this weekend, and I was sending out like forty percent. So yeah, yeah, I'll take a thirteen dollar profit <laughs> to pay a medical bill. So. Yeah, and yeah, just to reassure, everything is perfectly fine. It was just a little scare. <laughs> Um, they're Billabong like kids. I thought they were like underwear at first, but they're actually like, I guess, swim underwear. Like you would wear them under your board shorts, like since board shorts don't oh, have like a liner yeah. and stuff. So like a so they're like a quick dry lining. material, yeah. So, anyways, I bought these. They had them at the store. I bought retail arbitrage for a dollar fifty. I bought several. These are a little toddler size too, like a two year old. Mm. Uh -huh. So three dollars because they're a two pack into twenty one with discount shipping on Posh. So still making profit, but yeah, I grabbed a ton and we're just using them for our kids. And yeah, those were great for swimming lessons and stuff. Yeah. So yeah, I thought those were. I never even heard of something like that. But, <laughs> uh, those I'll put in a little foldy box. Okay. At least that's what I assume they're for. Right. We don't do a whole lot of like surfing or anything, but all right. Uh, We've never done any surfing. <laughs> no, a whole lot, meaning We've zero. We've never done surfing. Maybe I've some been skimboarding. I mean, like <laughs> yeah. that's about as close to surfing as I've Pat ever been. Pat my boogie board out and ride the wave. Back. <laughs> Body surfing, yeah. Uh, all right. This is some Cole Pond sandals sold for thirty-one with discount ship. That was an offer I sent out. I had eight ninety-nine into those. Those will do a medium flat rate. Okay, and then box F. This is a good sale. Oh, God. 
these I did pay $20 for at a thrift store, but they were in really good shape. Like mostly hokas usually get super worn on the bottom. Yeah. These didn't, so I figured 20 was worth it. At the very least, I'd get 50 on them and basically double my money after fees, but I got an offer of 65, so very happy. I'm making like 53 after the Poshmark fee. So about a $30 profit bad at all and let's do a shoe box maybe just on those okay all right here's the other third love This one sold, this was one of my like 40% offers, so 17 with discount shipping, but again, no cost of goods, so all profit after the Poshmark fee. And you've only got just a couple left Two now, more right? There, Two yeah. more from that big... Check. I feel like I had so many at once that like the cross-posting was getting tricky. Yeah. Because they're so similar. And we've done so many different things yeah. with cross-posting since then, because this was like a year and more almost than, two years. Yeah, it was my birthday in 2020. November, so. yeah. Oh, yeah, over a year for sure. Um, so we've done a lot of different, you know, like experiments with cross-listing at different times. And, yeah, yeah. we should uh, definitely make sure that <laughs> the last two are on somewhere. They're accurate and not double listed or. Um, I don't know. We the like to put bras weird. in a yeah, box. Like I like know. to put like some paper like bubble pops in between them so they're not just all squished so to be determined on which box i'm using for that AX. uh flame vans oh nice I did pay up for these at 12.99 they were in like super good shape my hope was to double my money but uh, again this weekend i was just like i got a 30 dollar offer mm -hmm. so what's that i make 24 pay 12.99 so like a nine dollar profit yeah. I'll take it. <laughs> they weren't like a super, like they're like a size men's four or like women's mm. five and a half or six or something. So like, or a youth four. So I feel like that was a good deal for yeah. that size. One of those weird in-between sizes. Yeah. I feel like not a ton of people are shopping for their youth on like Poshmark for shoes. Like I feel like kids will just go to the van store and buy whatever they want. So. Lucky kids. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, round tree. This one's on the top box. I know Should be these. Round tree in York. Gray pants. These are a large size, like a 52 by something. So, thought they would do well. They did decently. I did pay $344 average cost of goods for each of these. This pair sold for 16 with discount shipping, so I guess not huge, but right. we got those all in one day. I listed them all really fast. I think it's worth it. <laughs> those are too big for a padded flat rate, or is it posh? Um, it's posh. Okay. Yeah, I think a regional A flat. Like a mail, yeah. But I don't think I have them. Oh, maybe these are these. Or a mailing box. Yeah. Good. Okay. Uh, box H, life is good shirt. All right, got several of these. This one's sold for 20 plus ship. I think on eBay or maybe on Mercari actually. I had 884 into them, so probably around seven to eight dollars profit there. And I'll ship that in a mailer. I feel like this mailer goes good with like a life is good shirt. Yeah. Okay. Life Deep is good. Back. Make today a good day. <laughs> I printed a lot of these labels on Saturday evening, so it feels like I sold these a long time ago. Right, even yeah. <laughs> it was like a day and a half ago. Today, or this weekend was like the longest, shortest weekend ever. Yeah. <laughs> just it, like sitting in like a hospital room. Gosh. Just like, what is taking so long? Like, right. It wasn't like a big issue at all. Yeah. So it was just like. We were there for like three hours and the issue was solved in minutes like once seconds, they actually they got there. Yeah. sit there for no reason. Yeah. So. And it's a, it's a little bit of a private issue, so we're, that's why we're not 
we're not talking about it. <laughs> but. Um, these are a pair of chocolate sandals sold for $47 with discount shipping. I had $9.99 into those. Hmm. Those would actually probably do good in a mailing box too because they're pretty flat. Okay, box H, ortho feet. I got an offer of 30 and accepted. Um, I was hoping for more like 40, but again, taking the offer. I did only pay 4.99 for them, so still a, a good sale. Mm -hmm. um, just a shoe box on those. So I'm running out of all the good boxes I like here. Okay, box AI. This is a viewer sale. are the seven um, skinny jeans I got from the bins. $1.97 into them. Stacy bought them from us for 17 with discount shipping, so I accepted one of our offers that I sent out. So thank you so much, Stacy. <laughs> awesome. Um, I think those would go nicely in a regional A box. Sweet. Stacy, thank you so much for that support. I do wish I had Kevin's little system I know. right now, though, to like That's, easily pull out the yeah, box. Yeah, the, the division between the boxes is what we really yeah. need. Yeah. All right, some Crocs on the top shelf here. Well, really, as we're doing our downstairs more and more, like our living area, we're, we like the whole a thing, a place for a thing, you know, like every place everything has a home what's the, whatever that weird <laughs> saying is that, right yeah if you have something a place for everything and everything in its place kind of thing right yeah. and i think that's what i was trying to get to. <laughs> yeah but i i think that's ultimately the best way for you know most things yeah. <laughs> and not feeling cluttered and yeah stuff like that so so we we are one day <laughs> gonna have a place for every box and every box in its place and all that so hopefully <laughs> <laughs> uh i sold these crocs i sent out a really good offer for 21 with discount ship buyer accepted i did pay 9.99 for these though so i'm only making maybe like five dollars profit at this point maybe even four dollars profit so um yeah that was just me sending out those big offers also i am kind of wanting to clear some of the top shelf before before like all the way waiting till next fall yeah. at this point yeah so if you see anything you want up there make me an offer i can't refuse we've got but... lots of out of season wear <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean there's some that i can't like i don't want to really let go for super yeah. low like the bogs like obviously will sell these ones yeah the north face boots the quilted ones right there it's hard yeah. to like let them go because like i know they'll sell it's like they're stored up there yeah i just guess i should stop um, buying boots until <laughs> I did pass on two really nice Sorrells at Goodwill and maybe yesterday. Yeah. They were about 10 bucks each, but I didn't have anywhere to put them. Even right. would have sold them around 40 bucks each. If we but had the space, it'd next, be a completely yeah. different story, right? Yeah. If we had the whole Harry Tornado warehouse, you know, <laughs> we could, <laughs> we could have rooms dedicated just out of, out of season inventory that we're just holding. Yeah. Where you at? But we're very limited on space, so. Yep, and you saw like that took me, what, five seconds to find instead of just pulling it right out. So. Yeah. I.e., if I'm gonna keep buying coats, I'm gonna need to start doing something with hangers to Some be more kind of, obvious. Yeah. So. so this is a nice Carhartt, Carhartt, <laughs> Carhartt <laughs> Sherpa lined vest. Oh, yeah. Um, this I got at Goodwill. I actually remember I paid $8.99 for this, but I must have averaged my cost of goods with some shoes because it came out to $11.10. So okay. $11.10 into this, sold it for $40 with discount shipping on Posh. Uh, that will probably go nicely, really, in any of these. <laughs> Let's try for a medium flat rate because the one already fell down. Okay. And then W. these Nike Finance for $45 on Posh. I had $12.99 into those. That'll be a good medium flat rate too. And then box R. I 
I have a couple of these, Columbia PFG. This is just very basic. It's just a gray shirt that says Columbia PFG and the same on the back. Mm -hmm. um, so I got these for $5 each. This one accepted my offer of 15 with discount shipping. So I'm about doubling my money here. Like, you know what I mean? $5 profit, getting my $5 back. Yeah. Not amazing, but honestly, I think that's pretty good on retail arbitrage, especially when you have multiples. I mean, doubling your money is pretty amazing. I know, like, <laughs> like when you really think about it. When you did the, it's hard because you did the work and everything. Yeah. But really, it wasn't that much work. Yeah. So. Yeah. All right. And this is going out to our viewer Lisa. Pair of kids Munster swim trunks. These were my sons. I bought them off Kitizen. I don't remember exactly how much, but uh, Lisa bought them from us for twenty one twenty one plus shipping. So. Thank you so much, Lisa. They awesome. were very adorable swim junks. <laughs> Lisa, thank you so much for that support. Yeah, let's do it, kid. I like these. These for my kid mailers. Little woodlands. Creatures. Okay. Uh, box L. More shoes. Love selling shoes. Um, Asics on a Suka Tiger. Bought these at Plato's. Had 11.24 into them. Sold for 39 plus shipping on eBay. Those are going out in a shoebox. Okay. Lastly, CM. Um, Reebok CrossFit. These are a large size, so very glad to get them out of that box. They were taking up a lot of space. Men's size 14, sold for 34 plus shipping. That was, someone sent an offer like in, in a message. Hmm. Well, I take 34 plus ship? And I just said yes, because they've been listed a while. You can see they're kind of yellowing on part of the shoes and yeah. stuff, so. Anyways, I did pay $14.99 for these originally, so not a huge gain, but I think I made like a $13 profit there. I'll take it. Yeah. Um, the guys seemed very happy to get them. So, yeah. Do another shoebox on those. Sweet. <laughs> so we have quite a bit to pack up now. Mm, nothing else has come in yet. I did just put on a new eBay sale for the week. Um, well, since we're going to Great Wolf, we're not going to be looking at our phone as much. So yeah. normally I'm like constantly sending offers, but I just put... 20% off, although you guys won't see this video before. <laughs> right. I was going to say. So if you want anything, go get it, because I probably won't do 20% off again for a while. Cause probably eBay, do like an Instagram post or something, yeah. Yeah. eBay is kind of like the one I don't really... I price it pretty close to what I it should sell for, and then I mm -hmm. send out maybe 10 to 15%. So. Yeah. So 20%, 20% is pretty much as good as it gets. I don't have to look at my <laughs> phone and send offers and stuff like that. So. Right. Yeah. And I don't know if we mentioned, but did we mention that you already had some yeah, packed so up? Yeah, so these were just stuff that was our kids' is or yeah. minor Christmas. In case you guys were wondering why <laughs> there were packages. Yeah, I feel like you get bored of seeing the same. I mean, what we sell generally <laughs> is the same, but it's still kind of fun to see. Yeah. And I don't know. I love watching what's sold, so. <laughs> Anyways. Anyway, we'll get uh, everything else packed up and... I'm sure we'll check back in in a little bit, but yeah, today is, she's hiding in the closet. <laughs> today is a, a very busy day. Um, so I don't know, I don't know how much longer the video is gonna be after this point, but we'll uh, check back in after we get things packed up, maybe do some other things, and then we'll, we'll let you guys know what's going on. All right. All right, guys, got it all boxed, bagged, mostly boxes today. We had a lot of boxes, yeah. a lot of posh sales. <laughs> Uh, two more sales came in. One was just one of our son's old shirts. So I mm. already packaged that. And then these were something I did buy specifically to sell. So um, it's a pair of little girl stride right shoes. Bought for $4.99. Sold on Kittison for $26.10 free shipping. And since they are a little heavy, the shipping did cost me $8.55 through the app. So um, I'm making just about a $10 profit on these, which I still think is really good. Sweet. Going in a pair of flat feet. Yeah. So, yeah, other than that, all I've done is go pack our bags. Yeah, Kathy packed some it's bags. My least favorite thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, it's just for one night, and 
I don't have my gimbal right now because it's downstairs. <laughs> so sorry if this footage right now is a little bit shaky. But yeah, I've been editing a video. I actually had a lot of fun editing that one. Added a little bit of music to it. And hope you guys like that one coming out. Obviously before this one. So that one's going out live today. It is Monday. But we got to go get the boys. We're going to surprise them. Are we going to do their reaction on camera? I want to try. If it's an acceptable reaction. <laughs> yeah, if they give us a, an acceptable reaction, I'll record it and we'll put it on this video here. I didn't tell Sai what we were doing, but I said... I'm gonna have a surprise for you after school. We didn't say oh, we're getting them early. So you did say there so was a surprise. Sometimes they make up things in their head that they think <laughs> it's gonna be, and even though this yeah. is gonna be way better than anything, I feel like he's gonna be disappointed that like we don't have a lollipop for him yeah, or something. Yeah, so. sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we're gonna head out and do that. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all the amazing support today. We do greatly appreciate that, and we're gonna go have some fun at the Great Wolf Lodge. It is our anniversary tomorrow. That's kind of what this was is i guess a little anniversary trip with our kids and it's just a one night thing so we'll be back at it tomorrow or the next day and we'll see you guys in the next one bye all right guys turn your ipads off we were lying about doing errands that looks so cool wait look at that slide where are we? Ready to spend the night at Great Wolf Lodge? Wait. Is it a hotel? Yeah. Yeah. Great With Wolf water Lodge. slides. And pools. When I saw that, I I knew it was Great Wolf Lodge because I thought I thought we went to Great Wolf Lodge before. <laughs>